Uh, yeah, so I'm not gonna do like some little uh, goofball intro where I do like this little soy face, even though you can't see it because this is audio only, but I'll post a picture of uh, a little soy face picture, maybe not necessarily me, but of someone else, so that I can trick the YouTube algorithm into uh, thinking that I'm gonna give you like some kind of tips or tricks or advice on how to do something. But that's, that's not what I'm going to do. But I am going to trick YouTube into doing that. Or at least getting people's attention. But what I do want to talk about is uh, a recent experience or phenomenon I've had recently. And that was uh, going to a little convention, a Christian convention, where uh, you get to hear, you know, you worship, you get to do some singing, uh, listen to some guest speakers. Holy shit. It was crazy. But, by the way, the audio in here is kind of bad. But it's all right. You're probably going to hear, like, the wind outside. Anyways, yeah, so I, I heard a bunch of speakers. Some were really good because there were some themes about compassion, forgiveness, which I think is important in this day and age because I think a lot of people really lack compassion these days to forgive their enemies, to you know get down on their level, to understand where, what they're going through and whatnot. But uh, yeah, but I, there, there were some other themes because the themes, one of the themes was uh, listen to God or listen for God. But what I was really disappointed in was uh, one of the, I hate to be used as like a derogatory term, t derogatory term uh, because I actually like boomers. I do. I really I love and appreciate them. But at the same time, I, there are just some things that they do not get, especially when trying to reach to, a, you know, a younger demographic or a younger audience like myself, like millennials, Gen Z, and so on. I don't know how many other generations there are after this one. But uh, anyways, I, 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 I'm hearing this guy was talking about listening to God, but he has like all these little bullet points of uh, certain things. It's just like his little ranting points. And it's not really to like listen to God. It's just more like that uh, surface level of, hey, I'm going to put this little quote up here of Booker T. Washington. He's, he's going to speak some facts. Ain't that a fact, y'all? I'm going to destroy. We're going to destroy these little non-believers with facts and logic. I mean, he didn't really say like destroy necessarily, but like. I think his idea of influencing is like trying to appease to people like on a logic based level or like a, a reasonable point of view, even though that's not really the generation we live in. We live in a time where you can have a conversation with someone and what and what happens is uh, you might come out of that conversation. You like you've probably list, listed some statistical facts about certain things like, I don't know, uh, men and women's roles in, in this world or like what what they're supposed to be and like how uh, men are kind of designed for the leadership roles while uh, women are in the uh more i guess subservient submissive type of role and i don't think there's there's nothing wrong with that but if i were to like try to explain that to someone uh, base I, I guess one way to put it like to put it uh, in, a, in simpler terms is essentially you've listed you've listed a statistical fact about something and you you're in fact right in this situation but the other person is like sitting there they they kind of know that they're wrong but then they won't admit it then both both parties will leave the conversation and the person that was you know proven wrong in the conversation will leave that conversation thinking that they're more right than they've ever been and that's kind of the problem that we have to deal with today and we have to address it instead of just simply ignoring it and just citing statistical facts of, you know, uh, just, I, I guess baseline facts are like, this, this is how it is and that's how it's meant to be. And while that may be true, you, you can't, that's not how you like appeal to these types of people because they're, they're, we're in a culture of, you know, truth is subjective tr or truth is relative or whatever. Yeah, tr no, truth is subjective, truth is subjective. So that basically essentially means everyone's right. There's no right or wrong answers. There's no level of objectivity, even though there is, but approaching it like approaching it headstrong, like, yeah, this is how it is and that this is how it's meant to be is not the way to appeal to these demographic types. And it, it, so essentially what you have to do is uh, approach it in like micro levels, I guess, or like smaller levels, essentially, and work your way up for the younger d ages or younger generations to I guess get it because essentially like instinctually most people will admit the truth they will admit to like some level of like natural order that yeah that does make sense and, you, and I guess working with that you can always work your way up um, from that point on instead of just like saying hey this is how it is here's my little statistical fact 50% of uh, X Y and Z does this ain't that the truth and that might, and that, and that, those talking points might work for, you know, 
people who do get it, but those who like are completely foreign to th that concept or like of truth-based reality and objective reality, like you're not gonna get across to them. So I guess what I'm saying, instead of just like prolonging this, which is why I hate podcasts, I don't like to talk for an extensive amount of time, but in simpler terms, it's it's really good to know your audience and just know how to approach things. And I mean, hell, I'll, I'll even go as to, much as to say this, you have to learn from your enemies, essentially, because your enemies have a pretty good idea of how to go about things or like how to approach things. And you may not agree with it, but there is something admirable about those things because they have a level of influence that you can, uh, you know, aspire to be like, I think I, I don't I, I don't really like Democrats essentially I don't like them crazy Democrats but uh, I there is something that you can admire is like the level of you know ambition that they have to get what they want and I feel like that's something that uh, Christians lack these days I think we sometimes lack ambition like we have the right idea but the execution is a little off and I'm guilty of this as well and that's that's one of the struggles in this life is execution like you have you can have all the ideas in the world you have like the world at your fingertips but it's just how you go about executing those ideas or you know just anything in life and I, I think that's something that um, maybe the older generations don't quite understand because they used to live in that time where things were for the most part simple I mean they there's still some fucked up things that they had to deal with like you know uh, post World War II I mean I don't think we've really recovered from World War II and, and from like a cultural point of view but um, yeah it's just essentially just know your audience know the culture adapt and and, and adapt adaptation doesn't necessarily mean compromise um, what that means is uh, you just you're kind of one step ahead of you know who your opposition is and I don't think there's anything wrong with that you can do what's necessary without necessarily compromising your entire belief system. I don't think there, I, I think that's definitely achievable and I'm kind of, I'm slowly learning and understanding that. But uh, yeah, uh, I, I'm gonna I'm gonna quit with the little tangents now. But uh, ho hopefully uh, I've cooked long enough for you, for you guys to kind of get where I'm coming from with the, you know, just the cultural standpoint of everything and just knowing, knowing your place in this world and knowing how to go about uh, talking to other people because that that definitely does require a level of compassion and understanding to you know reach out to people you don't even know about but yeah that's this is my little icebreaker video i guess or my little venting video i guess peace out we we, we gonna destroy them we're gonna destroy them crazy democrats with facts and logic and we gonna get back to basics Except you're not until you can you know just identify what's wrong in this world and work from there that's that's all I gotta say